Good morning, everybody. We are at the go to 5K SoCal walk this morning. Uh, we're at Bonelli Park. There's mommy back there. She's feeling good this morning. We should get a shot of her because she looks so pretty. Mommy, I'm Look at her. She's all hooked up. She's way down there. Oh, hi, Karen. This is Daddy. Ellis and Winnie. Ellis brought a stick. Oh, hi, Daddy. Pops. Winnie's got one of the t-shirts on that we're all going to be wearing today. Let's go see everybody. And, oh, Jenny's got hers on. Don't hit the car, guys. Careful. Looks so cute. We had a good turnout this morning. We have a lot of people We're that came out. Winnie's getting a little daddy ride. <laughs> and uh, We're we've, a walk. we've almost met the halfway mark. I'm not quite sure, but we're doing great. We're hanging in. And mommy's at the end. Hi. Thanks. When we get to the end, we'll go see mommy and give her a big hug. But yeah. everyone's walking, everyone's and doing I'll a great job. Winnie's gonna blow her a kiss. I'm proud of you. I'm a bird, I can't. Alice is, like where is Alice? He's ahead of us, huh? 
All right, the music's probably gonna get in there where I can't say this, but you can at least show us. Close to the finish line, finishing for Jenny. I don't know where my son is. Is he behind us or in front of us? They're in front. Okay, so we're gonna cross the finish line. Up and put your arms up, Winnie. Yeah. We're gonna run it. Put your arms up, Winnie. Good girl. All right. Again, um, filming an outro way later than the video, uh, we realized that we didn't really say enough about this event that we wanted to, so I wanted to quickly go over it. This was um, this is a, an annual 5K event that is put on by a foundation called the Go To Foundation, which we have donated to in the past. We had a fundraiser in the past if you guys remember at the uh, Brewster's Ice Cream Place where we took that money um, and donated it to this foundation. And um, this foundation was introduced to us by uh, Jenny's doctor. Uh, last year he had said, hey, are you going to go to the, the 5K and, and do this, uh, this run for lung cancer research? It's put on by this foundation called the go to foundation they're an amazing resource for anybody who has specifically been diagnosed with some type of lung cancer um and we had no idea what it was we went last year and we loved it and uh, we knew we had to go this year even with everything going on and jenny's health we made sure to to go and as you saw um, our, a lot of our family went, cousins and friends and family friends and of course our close immediate families and um, it was so amazing to see all of them rocking the t-shirts that uh, Ashley uh, made, Ash and Brad made uh, for Jenny and the entire team. Um, so this GoTo Foundation specifically focuses on lung cancer, and the reason is because if you go on their website, they have a lot of good info. Uh, lung cancer is the number one cancer killer um, right now. Number one. Um, it takes the most lives, and it gets the smallest amount of research put towards it um, for many different reasons. Um, now there are current bills um, right now in legislation in the works to try and put more funding specifically towards lung cancer um, but right now it receives the 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 tiniest amount of funding and that is because of the stigma that kind of is centered around lung cancer typically what it has been said in the past is that is a cancer that's avoidable if you just don't smoke of course that's not true my wife never did smoke and was diagnosed with non-smoking, non-small cell lung cancer. And so are many other people around the world, a lot of them being women. So we found this out as uh, when Jenny was diagnosed. And so there's a big need for more research and more funding to go towards specifically lung cancer. All cancer research is important. All money and funding to any cancer program is important but this program specifically focuses on lung cancer which of course is very close to our hearts because it's what we're battling um, and so we love to support them um, and as you saw in the video so many people turned out um, way more than last year I would say at least I think someone said triple or quadruple what it was last year they had more kids events this year way more teams this year um, there were probably just as many, if not more, survivors this year. Anybody who's battling lung cancer or who has in the past. Um, just an amazing, beautiful event. And I think that day they announced, and there's still donations going on, they raised up to that point $115,000 towards lung cancer research. Just that tiny little event. That money goes towards new clinical trials, new research, 
um, just new treatment opportunities for uh, people in the lung cancer field, world, and anybody who's going through this. So a beautiful thing. Sad to see that so many people are affected by this disease, but amazing to see the love, support, and the amount of people that came out to just spread the love um, for such a good cause. So uh, overall, amazing day. Super proud of my wife for being out there. She did not feel well during this event. She felt super sick, um, nauseous, but she was out there rocking it, um, looking gorgeous and beautiful, and uh, she did an amazing job out there. And uh, everyone was so proud to be with her. Um, she had a, you know, a lot of people come up to her um, and say, like, we watch you and thank you for all that you're doing and for the lung cancer and just for cancer in general. We appreciate you. And I'm, I'm so happy to see that because she deserves that. And um, she is a, a definite guiding light for a lot of people who are navigating through this terrible, terrible disease. So... Beautiful day, um, so glad we were all able to go, so glad we were able to raise money for lung cancer, and um, thank you to everybody who showed up, thank you to everybody who sent love and support, thank you to everybody who donated to the foundation, thank you to anyone who just talked about it or put it out there on social media or just mentioned it, because the more that it's mentioned, the more help we can give for people fighting cancer. So, great day. Thank you for watching, and um, we will see you next time. So, love you guys, and um, stay tuned. We have another video coming shortly. Bye, guys. And I almost forgot. Jenny wanted me to show these shirts up close because they're so pretty. So, you'll see it says non smoking lung cancer awareness with the white ribbon, the white ribbon for lung cancer. And then there's our little slogan for our team, have courage and be kind. And we went with kind of like a rainbowy this year because Jenny loves rainbow. And then the back, says, our brave Jenny. So those are the t-shirts that her sister Ashley and, um, and Brad uh, put a lot of time and effort into making. So we're so grateful. And they turned out so cute. All right, bye for real.